So, let's test out on this last legend. Colour's gonna look a bit weird, but at least we'll get an idea. Nice packaging now, a bit better than the last packaging, the original package. Spiced it up. So this is what the standard fit looks like. So you get an idea what the normal fit looks like from the factory. This is what the molded version looked like. You can see it did have some issues on the corners. The rear was okay. And it's a bit like weird resin of some sort. But that corner was probably the issue because it was a little bit sharp. At the end of the world, but it was a little bit not bad for mould. So that's what this one looks like. Remember this one? It's got Omron 20s in it. Should be a crime. Right. So, this is the difference in this hump. If you want to know what the difference is, it's because of the curvature of it. So, you see there's a stock one versus the modded one. It slightly stretches the back out. to show you so oh the finish is quite nice on this though to be fair the paint's good I like this finish is all right it looks very similar to the uh not a mouse one to be fair even the hexagons are the same it's all the weight differences so stock, 4.1, oops, <laughs> and modded, so about half a gram heavier. So it's slightly is it bigger, maybe slightly bigger, can't tell. But it's all about the fit for me to be fair. Try not to scratch mine. Ooh, it looks good. There's a definitely better fit than the original one. Morning, see that fit? Maybe just that little finish. I would say is there any blemish? I mean like the way it's see it's kind of profiled in a little bit. It's a rare than stock ones like that, isn't it? Mm, I guess. Quite as aggressive though. I mean, that's it screwed in, right? So you can see at the top, not bad. Should I see myself? But you can see it's quite nice there. There's no massive gaps along here. Side profile looks good as well. Maybe a little bit of a weird bend there. If you're extremely picky, you won't even bother. Um, there's a little bit of flare though. It just played his bend actually, because you can see here, you see that? Just there, it's a little bit lower than that button. It's okay. A little bit of profile there again, but not major. That's probably the only fitment I can see as an issue. The rest of it looks pretty good, man. Right, here we go. Got your tie out to hold it back a bit further. Not a bad fit there. You can see like the stock final mouse there. Those edges are better. Where's this one? 
It's easy to see because it's silver and black. You can see it just doesn't quite fit, but I don't think that's going to bother you to be fair because you don't push back here. You're not going to push back here. Your fingers will be more, mine will be more like over the top. So it wouldn't bother me. Um, so it's like compared to the Mark 1. You could probably bend that back out. It's like maybe it's been bent or something, maybe. You could probably bend those back out a bit. Get we give you a snap it. Cool idea, though. I like it. Definitely nicer than the acrylic or whatever it is. Just give it a little bend, see what happens. To get the fit to work a bit better. Can't bend it that easily to be fair. I'm saying you might snap it. Put it back together and see. Well, it's definitely looking slightly better. better than it was, but now you got a bit more of a, a bit more gap, maybe. It was damaged. So, this is what it looks like now. We've uh, Bend it a little bit, try and get the fit a bit better. Maybe it's been damaged in transit. Definitely fits better, doesn't it? It's not, not quite right there. I don't think we can get that bend right because it's not. It's almost like a slight, like a slight curve. Um, but it's a lot better fit than it was stock. If that was bothering you, you get a little bit more of a gap on the side. No more than the buttons. Not bad fit though, given that. Nice.